adverse drug effects account for the majority of visits to the emergency room, and that's according to a new government-sponsored study on drug side effects. Our medical expert, Dr. Kevin Campbell, joins us live here in the studio and tell us about the adverse drug effects that we are seeing in this study. You know, it's amazing. The most common adverse drug events that we're seeing are events that relate to taking blood thinners, insulin, and antibiotics. And these drugs have not changed in nearly, really, the last decade. We're still seeing more and more and more adverse events. In fact, 50% of kids that go to the ER for an adverse drug event is due to antibiotics. So are these drugs that are taken together or individually? They're individually. They may be taken together. About 1 in 250 Americans has an adverse drug event and has to go to the emergency room for it. 1 in 100 of those over 65, because they're taking more medicines, have more medical problems, and are probably taking a lot together. Like we mentioned, blood thinners, diabetes medications like uh, insulin, opioid painkillers, and antibiotics are really, really common. So are these, tell me a little bit about the side effects that you're going to see, though, if it's, mm -hmm. say, antibiotics. So they can, you know, really run the gamut from mild side effects like a rash or itching to severe where you have trouble breathing and that sort of stuff and have a real anaphylactic mm -hmm. or emergency reaction. But these side effects can be very costly and they can also, you know, be difficult to manage for patients. So what do you do to avoid them? You know, my recommendation is get pill organizers where you put all your pills for the week in one organized place. Communicate with your physicians. Make sure every doctor knows all the medicines, prescription and non-prescription over the counter that you that you uh, are taking. And make sure you don't take something that's not prescribed for you. Don't borrow a painkiller from a family or, or, or friend because then you just don't know what kind of drug interactions you're getting into. And just one quick question for you. If, if you're a parent and your kid is starting to have some sort of a reaction, do you just wait it out or do you go straight to the emergency room or you call know, the doctor? If you're having severe symptoms, they're having trouble breathing, they're coughing, mm -hmm. you can tell they're wheezing, you need to call 911. It's a medical emergency. If you notice that maybe your kid went to the pediatrician and got an antibiotic for a sore throat and you see a little rash, call the call doctor and ask them what to do at that point okay. because they're very, very good at telling you what to do there. All right, great advice there. Thanks so much, Doc. No and you can learn much more about this. And if you have a story for Dr. Campbell, just go to our website at WNCN.com.